Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Halen Vintage and I am participating in the $10 challenge that is hosted by Beth from Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. So make sure that you're subscribed to her channel. There are many of us that are doing this challenge. So we were supposed to take $10 and see what we could get with garage sales. That really helps. So your girl, <laughs> She, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, oh, I'll just wait and do a haul because I'm going to a church rummage sale coming up here Thursday. This isn't due until six o'clock on Thursday. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll get something there. And I've gone to so many garage sales and stuff. It's like, girl, why don't you just use the one where you picked up the Pyrex because you did only spend $10 there. The total was 15, but five of that was Haley's items. So my items were $10. So I'm sure you have seen this on my Instagram page. Um, I, honest to God, when I picked this up, I've been looking for the clear lid for this, thinking that this was from somebody's ice bucket. <laughs> And then when I seen that this is the UFO Pyrex and it's only missing the stand, I felt really not with it. So I did get this. This is what I got for my $10. So I got this and then I got all these little things. I was like doing 50 cents, 50 cents. Um, oh, I did get this little Cupie. This had three on it. So the little Cupid doll, I want to say this is a Lefton. He doesn't have anything on him. So the Pyrex, the little Cupid. Then she had these little napkins that said, if drinking on the porch counts, then yes, call me outdoorsy. How cute are those? I got this little bag she had 50 cents on and I thought, oh, these would be kind of cute little package toppers in here. There's 50 cents on this bag. It had little corgi nail files. It had little cat nail files. And then it had two samples of um, Vera Wang princess lotion. So I'll give it a try. Why not? It's always nice to smell pretty. So it had two of those in there for 50 cents. And then, of course, you know why your girl picked this up. It had a daisy on it. If it would have been green, we would have really been in. But 50 cents on this. And this has like a little comb brush thingy in it. How cute is that? So I grabbed that. And then I said, would you take $10? for all of it. So this was the item that she threw in to round out my $10. So this has Mickey, Minnie. She did have $3.50 on it, but I paid $10 for these items. So, and then I'll put a picture in of Haley's items that she spent five on. Um, but this was probably the best garage sale that we had gone to that day. Even we were talking about it, like we got the best items there. She had other stuff that I probably would have picked up too, but I don't know. I was, we were kind of just looking around. Haley got, um, for her $5, she just spent five. She got a Barbie purse, um, a toilet seat cover that is like Christmas, but it's Snoopy. And then she got two snoopy mugs i want to say they were snoopy mugs i have a picture i'll put it in right here but i only spent 10. she spent five i spent 10. so then i'm including this because on our way home we're driving home shh, and Haley looks at me she goes mom that guy's got a free sign out and there's a piece of corningware right in the middle of the table and i'm like turn around <laughs> I'm thinking Corningware casserole dish. We turn around. It's a Corningware pot. And it's all here. Free. 
So all the innards are here. The only thing it's missing is a cord. And I've scrubbed these guys out before. So this guy was free. Can't be free on the Corning Wear Pot. And he's like, take it all. He's like, I will give you $5 if you take the whole table. I'm like, I really don't want to take the whole table, sir, but I'll take some items off your hands. So then I took, I don't, I've never really used these corn dishes, but there was four of these. These are made in Brazil. Nice glass ones. They're in great shape. I took those. Two red lobster. Do you remember these red lobster glasses? Oh my gosh, these are so old. The Pilsners that they used to have. I grabbed those. I'm always looking for a baster. Grab myself a baster. Pair of tongs. Always good to have another pair of tongs floating around. And then he had these. These are... I want to say they're Cuisinart, right there, Cuisinart. No lids, but he had two of them. Cuisinart pans. That's a nice pan. So I grabbed those. And Haley grabbed two huge stainless steel bowls. I did not have her take a picture of them for me, but those were the items that we got. So with that being said, this is Lynn from Haley Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to watch everybody's video on their challenge and the items that they picked up for $10. It's a lot of fun. So stay retro, my friends. Enjoy your summer. Enjoy the garage sales. Find everything vintage that you can and have a great summer. See you real soon. Bye, everyone.